Hey internet, hello YouTube, welcome to the channel Lionel Try here. So as you all know, I like to move around, explore, see different places, but today we're exploring the kitchen. So you see right here, I have a little friend of mine, we call these Mopane worms. So I'm going to cook and eat this in this episode. So these are more common in Southern Africa, in Zimbabwe, in my mother tongue, we call them Madora. And then uh, I think in South Africa, they call them Matwimbi or something like that. I'm not really sure, but I'm sure it's something along those lines, right? Um, I have someone who's going to show us how to prepare them today. Um, yeah. What's happening? Just say so, hi. Hello, guys. Yum. So, yeah, we are going to prepare Mopani Wims. Madura in Shona. So the first step, you wash them. After washing Madura, you soak them in hot water. Then you boil them. Uh, minimum 25 minutes maximum, 35 minutes. So this is the first step. Boiling. As you see, we are boiling Madura. Yeah. So you can eat them like this, right? You know, like this ones, it's, uh, the process is you hand pick them from the tree and then do uh, you kill them? Yeah. Or you when just... you squeeze them. Okay, so you just squeeze everything out. Uh, and you just squeeze everything out from it and then you let it dry in the, in the sun. Uh, the trees are good. Mopani trees. Yeah, they are found in Mopani trees, right? Especially here in Southern Africa, countries like Namibia, Zimbabwe, Botswana, Zambia, mm, Zambia and so forth. So yeah, they really taste nice. Let's see. But some people, they don't eat the head. They taste nice. Yeah, they are very nice. Do you like them? Yeah. <laughs> you guys should try this. Mm, okay. Just hold this for me. I just wanna show them something. So you see some information about this one. They are called Quenimbrasia Bellina. I think so. In Botswana, they call them mashoncha, right? Yeah, it's like this. It's right here. Um, they're so delicious, guys. You should try them. If you come to Southern Africa, you need to try these. And there's some information about them on the internet. Yeah. These are the dried ones. So today we're going to be cooking these and eat them. So guys, um, look, the water is now finished, it's now time to go to the next step, yes, Hello. chef, Hello. Mm, what's happening now? So now we are going to fry them, okay, first thing first, I'm now putting oil in the pan, okay, yeah, and then so we now add some onions okay let us wait for you know, some oil to be turned yeah so now you just have to to fry them isn't it yes so you just put oil in the, in the pot or pan, whatever that you're going to use, and then you put some onions and tomatoes. And yeah. for spice, I'm sure you can use the spice that is more suitable for you, but we are using which one? This one is called... Uh, Raja. All in one. Curry powder. You can also use black pepper. Black pepper? Yeah. All right. I'm not 
potatoes too. Chef Shalini. <laughs> Use the same the same pot, eh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you see, guys, you boil them in a different pot, and then when the water is finished, then you change. You put in a different one. Then you wait for a minute. Now we're now putting our Madura. Look at these guys. Wow. Yummy. And it's here. We keep on stirring. Show them the spikes. This one. Okay. There's magic hands. Can you see? Am I allowed to see? No chips. <laughs> it can wait. So yeah, we are now waiting for our spice to be here. Mm -hmm. Did you put salt already? No chips. I need to taste this. Mm -hmm. Don't taste. There's no salt. Clean out with my salt. Is it possible to make them chew? Mm, not ready. Eh? Okay. Do you try it? You want to put stew? <laughs> no, not today. That's the, the recipe for Madura. The one is the perfect recipe. Wow. So, okay. We are done. So basically guys we are done cooking Madora but now I can't eat them like this. I need pap sadza. So our mopane wings are ready. Now I'm going to prepare the pap sadza. Oh god. Normally we just have like to boil the water but to speed up the process we have to put like the water here. And then when it boils then we use that water. Um, So we have our mealy meal right here. Go we'll just put them like put it like in this in this container. This is how you prepare pap guys. I've seen how they cook ugali in Tanzania. No, that's not the correct process. Let me show you in this video how you cook that. Right? You have this stick, that's the one that we use.
you put a little bit in there then you add some water right just tear it like this right chef lionel chef lion heart <laughs> So you see guys after leaving it for some time we now have to you know complete the process you add the milli meal right until it's thick enough so that you'll be able to grab it with your hands Right there, I'm now a graduate of cooking pap. <laughs> yeah, not everyone can cook pap. Not everyone. See, children of nowadays, they don't know how to do these things. I'm missing this truth, man. Nah, I'll clean it up. So we close again. So now we turn this off. You know, because this this plate like is still heat on this plate, so it's, uh, it's still okay. Then we just leave it for a little bit. Then we are good to go. I will put all these things away. So guys, this is the final product. The pop and Mopane Wims. Let's enjoy. <laughs> Can you open for me this one? I love chili guys. So let me just put a little bit here. With some chili. It's really nice, guys. Tell me, would you eat this? Can you eat this? <laughs> so, when you come down to Southern Africa, you need to try this definitely. It's really really nice. So I'm gonna end the video right here. I'm sure you've seen the the final product. So I don't want to talk too much, right? I want to fight with this. <laughs> but in Africa you don't eat with your left hand. It's a taboo. It's a taboo. Bad table manners. Actually my grandfather used to beat me 
for doing that but hey I can't fight with who I am anyway guys thank you so much for watching see you in the next video otherwise you'll finish all the food <laughs> why is I'm talking to you guys <laughs> Ah, hey, like come to Zimbabwe, I'll cook for you these ones. And uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel. More videos will be coming. And probably you'll see more often on the channel as well.